Have you heard about the recent MOT test changes? Not to worry if not, that's what we're here for. The government are changing the way they classify MOT defects and are making these changes to comply with EU roadworthiness directives. Because of this, the DVSA are changing MOT defect categories to make it clearer what repairs and actions are needed to keep you and your vehicle safe. So, let's look in more detail at what's replacing the current MOT test, which has two defect categories, fail and advisory. The new MOT test will have three categories. These are minor defect, major defect and dangerous defect. The first minor defect category is similar to a driving test. These are important advisories that should be resolved as soon as possible, but won't greatly affect the safety of the vehicle or impact in the environment. Your MOT can still pass and you'll receive an MOT certificate. However, it is advised you repair as soon as possible. Second is the major defect category. These are faults that have a major impact on the vehicle's safety or an environmental effect that could put other road users at risk. Major faults require the car to be fixed and retested. Your MOT will not pass and you'll not receive an MOT certificate. The dangerous defect is the final category in the revised MOT test. These faults have an immediate risk to road safety or a severe impact on the environment. Dangerous defects automatically fail and should not be driven away from the test centre. If you do choose to drive away, you could face prosecution if stopped by the police, as it is a criminal offence to drive your car with a dangerous defect. For those of you who have diesel cars, because of stricter emissions rules, your diesel car will also face more rigorous testing. But remember, we're always here to help and advise with any MOT faults raised. So be prepared early and book your MOT in with Quick Fit now. Thanks for listening.